The message you're about to listen to is a message from Apostle Eric Nyamiche, the chairman of the Church of Pentecost. Apostle Eric Nyamiche preaches the gospel in its simplest form to help the believers walk in Christ and also how the believer relate with his world. This year, the message is on unleashing the church to possess nation. Join us and let's learn from Apostle Eric Nyamiche and be a blessing to the world. If you are new to this page, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and turn on that notification bell so that when new videos are uploaded, you can have access to it. Make sure you go to our own page and check out for more videos. Thank you. That is Paul when he got converted. But they were all afraid of him, not believing that he really was a disciple. All afraid of him. They were not believing that Saul is born again, including Peter. Na all na smartphone nyuma eti enkron okenkan efi nyimu adu adu enu ensi akono a na wo ka safa paul ho se oduru jerusalem no opese ode ne ho kobbo esuafo no nanso na wo nyina esuro no efri se na wo nyini se oyosuani now this new convert is showed that that way uh, he, because people think that he is still that old man he is still the man who come and persecute us and kill us and then, but the Bible says, but Barnabas took him and brought him to the apostles. He told them how Saul on his way has seen the Lord and that the Lord has spoken to him and how in Damascus he had preached fearlessly in the name of Jesus. Who told him this? He went so close to Paul, the one they feared. He encouraged him. I'm sure he saw his face and said, let's give him a try. Don't let us reject this man. And then he heard the story. And then he told the story about Saul. So the others could accept him. Man of encouragement. This man for Paul, bra, oba, ebe kan esu, yon fono, yon fono. Na, un tumi, en jenin tumi, nan so, banaba, efa, no ko, as man fono, en cheng, na, odano edi, chre wong, sedye, o hunu, evrade, kwang no mu, na, ene senye, o kasa chre no, ni sedye, o di, ako kudro kan, yesu, hon asem, ewa damasko, en tu wengi na, anu chre, senye, banaba, o si ben, Paul wa, to me kan, hon asem, e di chre, suyan fono. In chapter 11, in fact, he went, to look for Saul in, in Tarsus from his own town and brought him. And look at the man that he has produced. Saul. So a okay. great man. But he needed an encouragement from Barnabas to reach his greatness. So what kind to us wa could be a tiduba kuna or no abo modia kwa shifia small for Paul and not never can wong share or no share nu cry could see brash and ne ni pakesia y to me. Now there was a time that there was a sharp dispute between Barnabas and Saul or Paul over John Mark because Saul will not go with John Mark. He says, this young man has disappointed me. But you see, people of encouragement will always go for the one who has disappointed so they will give him the second chance. So you give him to me. And he took back with him. And I said, I know Dean Cassiapa, Eba, Banaba, and a soul in term, Nina, and I said, Not a fa, a Marco, Nan so, with Chemono, Marco, Eba, Nafa, Nipo, Shim, crying, say no, one more abbreviate mono, a summer bow on, or two on bear one, or bow on. So between these two people, by their actions, people will say, Banabas is a good man. And it's Ocean Nipab, and we are the senior smart for Paul, or Paul, Marco, Nan so. Banaba, efa no bae na ube timi akase banaba o yini papa. Pa. Now I'll take a couple from some thirty-four, from twelve to fourteen. Um, I'll take some suggestions for you from this particular uh, psalm and these verses. Uh, psalm thirty-four, from twelve to fourteen. Bomo di anse me tase no me bi efi enyom edu asan nine efi yimu dumi eno aircon. Whoever of you loves life and desire to see many good days. Now keep your tongue from evil and your lips from telling lies. Turn from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. So I'll pick some lessons from here. If you want, want to be Known as a good fellow. Keep your tongue from evil and your lips 
from telling lies. But what does it mean to keep your tongue from evil? And your lips from telling lies. Let the good man Job interpret this to us. Now Job 27 from verse 1. I read together. And Job continued his discourse. As surely as God lives, who had denied me justice, the Almighty, who has made my life bitter, as long as I have life within me, the breath of God in my nostrils, my lips will not say anything wicked, or my tongue will not utter lies. Now, what Na mahumi ni na edaso e womi mu na onyanku pa hum edaso e womi hunimi ampara mano rinke mu moyesem na mitechema rinka en na das. See how he was a great man. Wo nienti anu oye ni pakesi. He says as long as God lives. Ose se uradi tiasi. As long as I have breath. Na medaso wo ahumi e womi mu. My lips will not say anything wicked. Mano rinka e mu moyesem. Now you don't speak evil about a friend. Whether the person is present or absent, he says, My lips will never speak anything wicked. And, and my tongue will not utter lies. You see, people will hate you for what you have said, not what you put on. Plague to yourself. Yeah, let me also pray to myself that as long as I live my lips will not speak anything wicked or lies. Seek peace and pursue it. When you are a peacemaker and you are somebody who pursues peace people will say you are a good man. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. They shall be called. Not God will call them. So people will call you, or people will call them children of God. And they are peacemakers. Turn from evil and do good. Galatians 1.22 Galatians 1.22 I was personally unknown to the churches of Judea that are in Christ. Not Judea as of our work is to they only heard the report the man who formerly persecuted us is now preaching the faith he once tried to destroy it. and they praise God because of me na tianko ara ana wati se de anka kane no otaye no afi de na okajidi aka ne no na osai no ensempa na minti Turn from evil and do good. And the people will praise God because of you. So what a change life. What a good man. Now, be diligent and noble in character. Be diligent and noble in character. Now, carry yourself well. Now, try to try to hold check on your body. Be noble, be gentle. Now, speak well. Speak well. Don't sit anywhere. Don't stand anywhere. 
any cancer. Men be diligent and noble in character. Proverbs 31, verse 10 and 11. A wife of noble character who can find she is worth far more than rubies. Verse 11 says that her husband has full confidence in her and lacks nothing of value. Her husband is respected at the city gate, that is 23, where he takes his seat among the elders of the land. The diligence and the nobility of this woman is rubbing on the husband. Now, if they are praising the husband, they will Put her in a palanquin. Okay. Carry yourself well. Carry yourself well. Now, carry yourself well. Okay. Be noble. And be gentle. I'll give you the last one on my, my cards. Okay. Put on the garment of righteousness. And administer justice. Put on the garment of righteousness. And administer justice. Joe 29 14. I put on righteousness as my clothing. Justice was my robe. And Teban. Me fra trainia Eframe. Na Matemusem et is a tadi you any abutri. Now I put on righteousness as my clothing. Me fra trainia Eframe. Justice as my rope and turban. Atimusem tise a tadi you any abutri. Let us make deliberate effort to put on righteousness. Mumma yum momodin see be fra. And try to administer justice. And you'll be a good man. Don't like bribery and corruption. Don't be somebody who is a deceit. Try and administer justice. Let your yes be yes and your no be no. Be fair in your judgment. And put on righteousness. I pray that these that I've shared with you will be able to help you. And then if you're able to walk in them, you have a good name. And then from good name, work very hard so that your name will be a great name. I've said we have not discussed titles. It's not about positions people hold in the society. Characters like what I've enumerated. Now, if you have them in greater measure, you'll be a good man you have a good name and it will buy you some favors reposition your name as we reposition ourselves for maximum impact in our society now reposition your name as we reposition the church to make maximum impact in the nation now god bless you be blessed i will not want to end this broadcast now without giving the opportunity to accept jesus as lord now, if you want to accept him as lord and please repent of your sin and repeat this prayer after me dear lord 
Today I repent of my sins. And I acknowledge Jesus as my Lord and Savior. I will serve him for the rest of my life. So help me God. If you have prayed this prayer, you are born again. Join us in worship. Or look for any Bible-believing church and attend. So they will help you grow in the Lord. May the Lord bless you. And may the Lord keep all of us. As we reposition our minds, we reposition our hearts, we reposition our hands, and we reposition our names. God bless you. Amen.